Come in the middle. It is Saracens against Exeter. And a very good afternoon to you wherever you're watching on BBC Sports test this year. Saracens at 77 and that first one is clean off the top from Leach. Looking to try and use it from the back. That's not the best of passes for Cantona, but Exeter still in possession. And they're changed white shirts, of course, this afternoon. First bit of spell on the ball. Here's Doidge, the young fullback for the Chiefs. Looking to try and settle, go through a few phases, get themselves into the game. Robinson. And with Garcia, that halfback partnership that's switched between nine and ten all season. Garcia just looking to grow into the game. Use her powerful runners. There's Linda van der Velden, captain last year for the Chiefs. And what, of course, was their maiden season in this top flight. Now, under Susie Appleby's coaching, Tony Rowe's investment, Chiefs are in a final. Good drive from Delika Menin. Van der Velden with the carry. That is the 10-metre line. Lots of phases so far from Chiefs, but not really the ground made. But that's a clever spin from Kobayashi. The Japanese outside centre doing really well with the offload as well. Chiefs fans at six ways, getting behind their team. Now on to Johnson, hit hard by Bottoman. Wick from Robinson. Garcia, Cantona around the back, gives it short to Zachary. Up against... Fellow USA international Kelter does well inside the 22. Sinclair with the carry. First time for the Scotland wing to get her hands on the ball. Leach gives it short. This is impressive phase play from the Chiefs. Taking it right to Saracens. Campbell getting in low. Looking to go wide, that's another huge hit. Sarah McKenna lining one up and dumping the Chiefs on the backside. And then with the penalty, well, what an hit. We've seen it all. Exeter Chiefs, so much possession. We spoke about it pretty much. They don't. First line out for Saris, taken well by McIntosh on the halfway line. With momentum behind it. Campbell coming away with her hands on the ball. So often we see her close to the line. Here is Kelter, first carry for the Saris inside centre. Such an impact on this team since her January arrival. Bottoman up against Johnson. Expect to see that all afternoon. Big physical carries from some big physical players. McKenna there. Really bright start from the Saris at England fullback in defence and attack. Both teams just sussing each other out at the moment. Clear with the carry over the game line. Saw that so many times in the semi-final. Clever chip by Aitchison. And it's gathered by Saris. That's wonderful. What can they do here? In behind the Chiefs. Looking to try and work it wide. Kelter under the right arm. Coming through. Powering the legs. That is the five metre. Saracen sniffing the first points of the game. Vivas to Campbell. Head down. Looking to bury her way through. Fleetwood now. Good defence from the Chiefs. A couple of metres away, Saracens. This is far forward as any team has been. Around the corner from Kelsey Clifford. Quick ball from Campbell. Off to Butterman. What a rip that is from Garcia. Prevented a certain try, but we will go back for the offside. Oh, Sar for Saracens, right. And the post, Poppy Cleal goes direct. She's held up, then goes to ground. Impressive forward work, this. By the league leaders. Round the corner they go. There is the try line. There is the opening score. And who else? It is Marley Packer, the co-captain extraordinaire, having an unbelievable... ...to them, and they're, they match the energy massively. Garcia to get us re-going. First blood Saracens. Again, deep to Aitchison. What has she got from this clearance kick? Zachary with the take. Skips away from the slipping tackle of Campbell. Stolen by Aitchison. Brilliant read from the fly half, but the penalty advantage was with the... She's uh, broken in behind. Marley Packett 
and Poppy Cleal overcooked that time by Totosi. Gathered. Who else? Marley Packer, Aitchison. Again with the for Alex Osterbury's side. Again finished first in the league. Ahead of Chiefs. That's a brilliant dissecting kick from Aitchison. What a strike that is. 22 to 22. Doidge with a bit of time to size up the play. Great step from the fullback. Sort of wonder try from inside their own 22 against Saracens in that big win. Just a word on that territory grain from Holly Aitchison. Fantastic kick, but it's all about the chase. You have to back it up, which is what Saracens have done brilliantly well there. The women in black. Yes. Robinson. Flo Robinson, one of the number of young English players coming through at Sandy Park, despite all these internationals recruited that's another kick as well bit of legs on that bouncing through just holding up goal line dropout is the call Garcia with it into the considerable frame of Kelter lined up for the double tackles with such a feature of Chiefs defence the two player tackle Right in the mix of it, Packard as well to just free her arms. Aitchison now, clever step back inside, Vivas. It's a really good line. Saracens will need a scrum half, or will they, when Poppy Cleal's around. Aitchison, Clifford using their big carries. This is clever work from the Saracens pack again. Look at the momentum on it. Aitchison now with space, looking to try and send it wide. Not far off, but what a replacement Saracens have got. Hey, hey, use that to England internationals at number 10. This scrum can cause all sorts of problems. Cantona, the direct route. It's going to be another one of these individual battles. We mentioned that two Americans in at number 12, Cantona and Kelter. So much class in terms of their ball play, in terms of their kicking, in terms of their physicality. Garcia. Final game in a chief shirt. What an influence she's had on this team. No, beyond! She's trying to work it down the blind side. Okay, back to hold. Carry from Nicola Friday. Yeah, Flo Robinson's always and trying to work this it. ball into around the 15 metre line. It makes the box kick so much easier, especially as a right footer. No. Bottom and wisely leaves it up for the call from the referee. Packer underneath it again. Great shimmy away, Marley Packer. Cleal. Hey, tackle. All very measured at the moment from Saracens. Aitchison looking wide. Goes for the dink over the top again. McKenna trying to come through. Voyage in the black scrum cap. Kobayashi out to Detivo. She scored some brilliant long range tries. What can she produce here? The American wing. That huge right hand fend. Advantage entry to. Advantage on the play. You can hear the Chiefs fans trying to get in behind their team. But I just keep that mark. Yeah, I've got it. Johnson now so with a carry to the halfway line. Out the back from Flo Robinson. That was lovely. No advantage. Again, she has some highlights reel from her tries. This Canadian hooker to Tosi. Straight to More. Friday again, advantage. the target. Entry, six. Flo, you've got. Robinson burrowing away, One, trying to out. rip this ball back out of that driving mall. Just doesn't quite have the strength to deal with it. Meg Campbell is wrestling in there, fighting for a lot. They want to get over and score. Leach now, oh. the target in the middle. It's a brilliant counter drive from Saracens initially. What have Chiefs got in response? Still moving. We're crabbing to the side. We're trying to be reset. Saracens, I think, have got their hands on the ball. Yes, they have. What a brilliant defensive effort that is. Hold, hold. The first. The counter drive from the mall and then the steal. Brilliant defensive points. work from the London Bring side. Garcia. 
Eyeing up her options. Doidge outside her, but she fancies a dart herself, and she does well to get away from Corrigan. Then a turnover. Campbell celebrating in order to uh, blast the, the jackaler there because they're going to get their hands on it all day. Five. Fleet with the target. Aitchis and Flax. Here is the try scorer and co captain. Aitchis and Short McKenna. Yes, Red by the double hit of Zachary and Johnson. Ah! Clifford now, the former England under 18 captain. Packer just playing like a centre and giving it off to Campbell as well. Playing like a back row. Nivas runs into a row player, then a bit of a pass to nothing, and McIntosh has some defensive work to do. Real competitive, feisty nature of that breakdown. Saracen's coming away with it. Saracen's a team used to scoring tries, the most bonus point. No, don't put your back in, clearly tries available. In games this season with 13, but certainly have lost a few back points. Six leakiest defence, Alex Osterbury's side, have been in lots of tight games. Managed to come out on the right side of them, but not on the right side of that there breakdown. Penalty Don't conceded. Robinson keen to get on with it. Cantona looking for Duncan. Good initial counter shove from the Chiefs, and they've disrupted that scrum. Two teams really in form in the league. Saracens have won 10 of the last 11. That defeat at the Chiefs, their only defeat, while as Exeter, eight games in a row they've won, not lost since the 19th of February. These are the two informed teams in the Allianz Premier 15s. Serving up a juicy first 20 minutes. Cleal helps it on to Bottomham, steps away from the initial contact. Vivas clever back inside to McKenna, very nearly wriggling away. Saracen with the quick ball, Packer, big left hand off, still going Marley Packer, looking for a second score, just short. Saracen's round the fringe. No, I missed the ball back foot. Clifford now, hands on the ball, looking to go under the post, stretching just short. Good defence from the Chiefs. Cleal now driving towards the post. Okay, everyone off. Hands up, White. Exeter frantically trying to stop this. Saracens forward effort. Lean over technique. Together come the hands, and here comes the right footed. We've seen some memorable comebacks from Exeter over the course of the season. Warren with a ball in her hand, slotting a memorable last minute conversion against Harlequins. In that last minute win, Aitchison keeps that one low. Fizzes into the hands of Zachary. Which for a second looked like the number eight was high enough a kick. Of course, she's uh, very used to playing in the backs. She's the co captain from Exeter. 8, 12, and 13. She started this season, mainly now an eight, but a very, very accomplished centre as well. Huge double hit by Saracens as Carson and Poppy Cleal come through. Then the drive from Hope Rogers. Garcia, sure, that's a lovely soft hand looking for Menin. Exchange of the ball from left to right to try and free a handoff hand. Leach now. Van der Velden, the Netherlands international. No! Vantage entry number eight. Free play here for the Chiefs. Robinson trying to get round the fringes. Back foot now, back foot. Can hear Garcia say she doesn't want it. Quick tap and go from Garcia. Looking to try and wriggle away. Brilliant for Patricia Garcia. Well, if you get ahead into retirement, do it in some style. That is absolutely brilliant from the Chiefs fly half. She has true. One of the best kickers in the league. The inside set. You have to wait for the defence to be back 10, which is why Saracens feel a little bit aggrieved about that because it's not how the laws have been refereed this season. Obviously, in a final, no. pressure's on. Potentially different, potentially those conversations have, have happened previously. And I, I would imagine someone like Garcia has teed him no, up for that because she loves to go on the quick tap. It's a brilliant bit of opportunist play by her. This is the insight you get from someone playing in the Allianz Premier 15s. Mohunt and Cat Merchant alongside you. 
for this finally poised tie. Just over 12 minutes to go in the first half at six ways. Get the official crowd during the second half have confirmed over 3,000 people here this afternoon in the sunshine. A record for a Premier 15s final. The coach load Susie Appleby was saying have come up from Exeter ready to support their team from early this morning. And the team in white okay. right back in it now through that Garcia try. Aitchison back on the inside for Fleetwood. Very busy the Sarri's open side. Aitchison, that's brilliant step. Gets away from Leach, then the offload to Virvas. Looking to the outside channel where Wardle was lurking. Did well to just adjust her feet and stay inside. Cleo now, lined up by Johnson. Great initial hit from the extra flanker, but Cleo with the strength to roll. Campbell, how many times do you see that from Saracens? That quick play right from the base of the rough and just going direct. Just trying to make their way up and over the 22 at the Saracens forwards at the moment but there's a white ball in front of them defending Advantage, well not rolling Vivas to Aitchison free play dink over the top for Wardle and Abby Ward doing the same job I was wondering how you were going to manage to bring up Zoe Oldcroft but you managed it <laughs> well done see what Exeter have got now so interesting they keep going to the same channel to Holly Aitchison maybe they want to come back off this counter attack ball but for me, they've not had a lot of return from that so far. It's been a similar play, almost exactly the same, apart from Aitchison's first kick of the game, which went out. It's been Garcia to Aitchison to Zachary. Campbell again in there. That's it, seven. Saracen's hooker. A couple of seasons now, been right up with the best in the league. And the number 20 international on Simon Milton's radar. Huge hey, competition home. there with the likes of Mark Davis and Amy Kikane, but impressive. First half an hour from Campbell. Here's Deutsch. Kelter and Aitchison there. Coming through. Garcia. <laughs> Tom Garcia coming in from the side. And a bottom and looking at the referee as an arm went high into a chest. Apologies for any language you heard on the stream there. Play play. So with a bit of space on this blind side. Zachary lined up by Clapton Campbell. Our commentary position just meters away from that. You felt every single muscle, every single sinew on that double. Playing that at the moment, the physicality. Yeah, when I'm close to hits like that, it makes me pretty glad I'm retired. I miss it most of the time, but then stops like that are just savage. Okay, thank you. Selection of stars. Harrison's with the chance for the line out. McIntosh really grown into the role, the 22 year old former rower. I'm obsessively talking about her leadership at line out time, and she's become a vital part of that engine room alongside Poppy Cleal over the past few weeks. Campbell again getting over the gain line. Aitchison so many times up for that little dink. Kobe Ashley reading it there. Through comes Kelter. Didn't quite get her hands on it. Wardle through on her opposite ben number. Hans. Again, it's the chase from Saracens that's so, so impressive. Clearly an area no, they've no, looked no. to target, isn't it? Obviously nine in the line, so normally you've got good. somebody in that sweeping position that's looking Stay after those little it. chip kicks, but at the minute, Exeter don't have that. They've not rectified it, and Saracens no, just no, keep probing. One of those will stick soon, I'm sure of it. It's a feature of uh, the men's premiership games, the Caterpillar. Exeter, one of the best composed, aggressive and argumentative and in your face and white, those that know white, she's white. an absolute sweetheart and that Saracen's five, going short five. player going over the top there okay, throw's not gone five. and the throw is five I think it might have been Poppy Leach throwing throw's a body in five. acrobatic effort but we will uh, go back from the print to the Premier 15 franchise but trying to sign players from around the world she had to conduct almost personality interviews and what a squad she's built this is just their 43rd game 
and they're into a first final. On the back foot at the moment, though, and work to do to try and win it. Saracens again in possession. Aitchison on to Bodeman. Lines up those legs to try forward. And here's another one to break. Kelter in the middle, looking for options, scanning, searching. Still going the American centre. Great run from Kelter. Cleal thought about the offload to Aitchison. Virvas. All bit basketball at the moment from Saracens there. Carson now. They present. The Canadian blind side. Bottomman's done really well there. Short line off the ruck. Lovely ball back inside to Fleetwood. Saracens going through the gears, cranking it up near the exit to try line. Corrigan now, it's Marley Packer off the back again, Marley Packer, a brilliant second. What more started. can you say about Marley Packer? She takes her time, she has 90 seconds to kick the conversion. She can use all of it, make sure that they don't get the restart so there's no opportunity for Exeter to come back in this half. A team used to winning, of course, this Wolfpack mentality. It's just a, a DNA, Alex Osterby was talking about in the week, that runs through the club. You join the club, you buy into it, and ultimately, you do what Saracens do, you win. This is a team used to winning, and they are leading at six ways. Clouds very much in place now. No real wind around, but work for both sides to do. Saracens to close it out. Chiefs to get themselves back into it. Doesn't look like we've had any changes from either side. And Aitchison gets us going in the second half. That's going to bounce. Left by Friday and it's back into Saracens hands. Poppy Cleal. The start you do not want from an extra point of view. Packer now straight into the action. Aitchison helps it on. McKenna. Tackle. Kelter now, big Bosch coming up against Zachary, but as she so often does, rides the first challenge, pumps the legs and gets over the game line. Virvas, very bright around the fringes, looking for Carson. We heard her mum over from Canada in attendance. Virvas, that's brilliant, looking for Clapp, trying to find an option. Campbell, one of those many, many threats. Here is Carson going for the line, Mackenzie Carson with the score. Straight after half time, a minute into the second half, and Saracens with one hand on the trophy. It's Mackenzie Carson, a second try of the season for her. Kelter's perfect so far. Looks like it's going to be charged down though. The attempted charge from Ailey Sinclair was waved away. Come straight back out. And to go one score down seven points straight away is so deflating. Response needed from the Chiefs. And Zachary Want, who's not backwards and going forwards, but possession at the breakdown is lost. Saracens back with the ball. Here is Hope Rogers now on the charge. Try scoring pop 12 and 12 for her this season. Could do with another one at six ways. Again, the breakdown just not clean okay, by Exeter. They can't get this ball clean. They can't get it quickly. They can't get into this carrying game. But Rogers is doing her best. Menin now. Bottom and driving into the side of her. Saracens again over the top of the ball. And even if they don't steal it, they're just slowing it down. Garcia. Look to try and... We get to see the Chiefs way. Space for Aitchison to try and find. It's the end over, end kick. Duncan is behind it. Corrigan chasing through, and that's a really good hit on Doidge from Alicia Corrigan. The ball has got out, but the knock-on is called. We spoke about the kick and chase. And Alicia Corrigan summing up everything good. Over to hit, fantastic chase, good. To New engine room, Nicola Friday 
and Linda van der Velden off. McKinley Hunt and Ebony Jeffries on. And that lineup not quite going to plan, and Exeter in possession now. Robinson, Johnson, there were two players outside of it into contact. The open side goes. Robinson, not much space down there. Robinson under a bit of pressure now and slightly Exeter isolated. Black shirts swarming all around her, but Exeter still in possession. And it's Decavo, the acting number nine. Offside. Offside the call. Yeah, if you want it. Number two. Detafo thought about the quick tap, but Cantorna wants the ball. She wants to get her side deep inside the 22. Yeah. What is this okay. right-footed strike got? Just a bit more urgency about Exeter's attack at the minute for me. Flo Robinson. Final 38 tackles, and she's got through a lot of that so far this afternoon, and she's finding her arrows as well. Line out over. So many times in this position, we've seen Exeter march forward and just driving more cause teams problems. But at the moment, Saracens equal and stopping it. From the hindmost kids. Zachary takes control of the action. Now they can try and get their power forwards in Exeter. Campbell somehow coming away with the ball. But we'll go back to Exeter. He's been a menace. All Premier 15's here, but the West Country side at the moment in this final. More. Trailing in behind, 31 oh, points to go. seven. Just over half an hour to go. Exeter need a response now. No hands now. Robinson looking to try and add this pace into the game. Detavo, the try scoring threat. Another advantage for Exeter, and these are getting cumulative penalties. The option up. Quick tap from Hope Rogers going towards the line. Saracen's hands getting under it, and that is held up. Hope Rogers, such a strong carrier as well, but not much she could do there. Um, a lot of Sarri's defenders, and uh, again, pointing at where that space is. Serious tactical water boys at the moment for Saracen's, and Aitchison looking for that space. Saw a nail of brilliant 50-22 against Harlequins, but Deutsch spotting the danger there, but Kelter right up in the face, and Saracen's have... Well, initially with the ball and the tackle, but Chiefs back in possession. The issue as well of only having one in the backfield means that there's no other option, so they can close that space down really easily. As I'm saying, that brilliant break by Friday. Here come Chiefs on the charge. Big chorus from the extra fans. They've travelled a long way to Worcestershire, but what a hit that is again from Pleal. Cena in the carries, now Cena in defence, and Sarri's all over. It's frantic, it's frenetic. Doesn't have an option to pass to, and didn't seem to have the time to kick it, so really, really difficult. But uh, um, a good line break out wide. Uh, they make the most out of it and keep the ball, but then this hit here by Poppy Khalil, absolutely. Could be a few more replacements as well for Sarri's running up on the side, including potential return. Of Georgia Evans, that's scrub. To the Saracens defence by Flo Robinson. That's all in technical work. And so far, you've got to say, Stand up closer. Stay square. Stay square. a chance to get in. Well, Johnny is a prop, so maybe, maybe, he, uh, maybe he will. Well, they both have a wonderful day. Here's Zachary off the back. Every single time she goes for a number eight pickup, Kate Zachary, she seems to make a good 10 or 12 metres. One of the RPA Player of the Year nominees, of course, along with Marley Packer, Sadia Kabea of Loughborough. Winning that in the past week. The battle of the back row. Not out, not out. Dominating those nominees this season. All three worthy winners, but the player who won the most votes, Loughborough Sadia Kabea. Marley Packer, the consolation prize of... England Player of the Year, and actually Kate Zachary won the Exeter Chiefs Players Player of the Year. So all amongst the awards. Yeah, move two. Advantage. Two's got to move before 12. Campbell penalised at that breakdown. So there's a play here for Exeter, and here goes Cantona with the outside break. Back inside. Chiefs looking to play the ball. Garcia again, stepping, shimmying. Detavo with the score. Chiefs going over. Is that the beginning of something? Janine Detavo. 
the American flyer, a 14th of the season. Could that be the most important? It finished. The flood support from Exeter was absolutely brilliant there. You see just the delay on the pass. Brilliant little step. Back on the inside, back on the inside. Thought Garcia was going to get her second, but didn't think she had the legs. Lovely support by Detavo coming off her wing just to link up. Great work. And that's how X has good decision to, to make the pass to Detavo. Cantona now. X to need every point they can get. The in swinger gives them hope. Really does. Cantona playing heads up rugby. Just saw that she had a prop opposite her. Aitchison deep with the restart. Garcia just have to watch it. It is two apiece in the Premier 15s era. Saracens winning both home meetings. Exeter winning both the clashes at Sandy Park. Mackenzie Carson unhappy with an off the ball incident there, but. Happy enough. Robinson lobs it up to Zachary. Exeter with the drive, but Saracens get it away. Aitchison running across the pitch. It's the dummy play for McKenna, but the pass was poor. Corrigan picking up the scraps and going the long way round. Vivas giving it short to Packer. Brilliant from Marley Packer. Steps, looking for options, brought down. Yes, Vivas now, she's running across. Carson looks to try and lob one from behind. McIntosh. Kelter steps, brilliant from Kelter, powering through, steps again, Kelter. Campbell now, Fair Saracens tackle, swarming all over the Chiefs. Bottom and round the fringes. Going in search of this fifth. Poppy clear again. Then the pumping of the legs as she hits contact. Now Campbell coming in. This Saracens forward display has been so, so impressive. Risen to the occasion. Bottom and inches. Hands up, six. Assessing the options is the one and only Marley Packer. Then they go with Cleo. Short is the call. Campbell tries to shift it out wide. They spread it out wide. The bounce is not kind for Clap. All backwards. Play on, play on. Credit to the Chiefs because for all love and money, that looked like Saracens were in for a fifth. Brilliant defensive work and to get off the line. Saracens had opportunities to come near side. Threat still remains from Saracens. Cleal to Ellis. And they have themselves a free play with the advantage. Bottoman to the try line. There's bodies, there's knees. Trying to stop this Saracens forward effort. Okay, time off. Not huge celebrations from yeah. Saracens Clean at the moment, the but we're going to go to the television so match official. So on field try, just checking so ground. Yeah. Try no is the call. Nothing clear. And it was muted celebrations from <coughs> the Saracens forwards, oh, pick and driving down. too much for Exeter's defence. As you said, most so important the question asked if it was, is there a clear grounding? Then actually, we probably wouldn't have seen that in that, in that footage at all, but just checking it. But it's the, the speed at which they suddenly go, go into that attack mode once they've kind of had the pressure on them. It's the initial line um, from Kelter which get, gets them into it, but this one from Packer. Look how fast she goes. She's footworking. She just won't be tackled. And then the offloading, keeping it alive. It goes back. It doesn't rattle them. They're able to just go forward, pass it down the line. Another good step from Kelter. I initially thought this should have gone. Uh, I thought there was numbers out wide, but she does so well. And it was uh, enough done there to get her team in and post. Change from Susie Appleby at fly half. Megan Foster coming on. So Patricia Garcia played a last there. minute for Chiefs in a last minute on a rugby peel. Kelter with the ex Sarri's in control in the closing stages at six ways. Fantastic. 
done a lot for the sport, especially in her country. 15 <laughs> No matter what happens, it looks as though Cheetah's season has been run as Aitchison. Veervas with the dummy. Really bright game, the Saracen scrum half. Past few weeks, that combination with Veervas and Aitchison has been so, so impressive. Just controlling the team around the field, Regathered, controlling the no, forwards. And here's another one, Poppy Cleal. Now the offload. Here she is again, Veervas. Fleetwood now. Aitchison spreading play. Bottom has a lovely pass for Corrigan on the line. Clever work because she's not held. She's still wriggled away. Alicia Corrigan. Alicia Corrigan for the corner. What a score from the Canadian winger. That has to be it for Saracen. After being warned by the referee to get on with this conversion. Too long. Kick's missed. And the kick is missed from the referee. Well, she was warned out of Kelter. Think that's what's happened there. Because we had it, Al uh, 15 seconds, <laughs> but obviously she didn't. Huge clash in the air between Clara Nielsen and Poppy Cleal. And move right. Still the commitment, as you would expect Wait. from both sides. Deutsch. Runs into the frame of Kelter. You have to say, probably that conversion missed the first mistake from her for the afternoon. She's been brilliant. Detavo again with that big right fend inside to Nielsen. Such a strong upper body handoff as Detavo. Coming off for Brooke Bradley. And Gabby Cantona for Nancy McGilvray, the 19-year-old, breakthrough season. McGilvray need to go to hospital, and there was some along with Anna Casey. As Mackenzie Carson comes off, along with Cara Wardle. Nice moment and a nice hug from a number of the Saris forwards to Georgia Evans. This has been a long way back for the Welsh international. French. Bind. Set. Scrum. What about another dart? Aitchison looking Hot across down. the line. Guess Six who picks ball. it up? Marley Packer. Just the detail in that as well. You heard on the ref mic, chase our feet, chase our feet. It's just the detail, what she's wanting and asking her forwards to do. Bounce just to keep driving on. through that scrum when it's going forward. No advantage, not come from Black. Over 11 minutes to go at six ways. Saracens in the lead. Three tries in the first half, three tries in the second. Back for 20. Adding to an Alec Kelter penalty. And the side from North London are heading towards the third title in four seasons. Foster. Backwards. Into the frame of Leach. Backwards is the call. Kinley Hunt, Foster, Kobe Ashi. Struggle to get into the game. And force herself on the game as so many of those in white have. Again, a dominant tackle from Saracens and extra players just have to take that couple of extra steps back just to realign themselves, to come from deeper, to try and add some energy and go forward on the ball. Detavo throws it wildly to keep it in play. Back, 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 back. Five entry, five entry. Got it clear in from. Got it in his head, actually. This is not. We don't want this to compete anymore. Saracens at the moment. This big lead, the Chiefs. Trying to make a dent into it, and they will down the blind side. 
it's Ebony Jeffries, the replacement, goes over in the corner. Something that those that have come up on the coaches from the West Coast with a lot of hope. There's a number of these Chiefs players coming through. What a strike that is from Exeter. Heading to the final few minutes of their season. Richardson again deep, a real feature of, of both teams. They've not wanted these competitive restarts pretty much all the time as Ellis with the chest-to-chest -chest hit. Initial contact was good. She's playing with the ball inside her own 22. Those fresh legs of both Evans and Casey coming through. And the bleach blonde hair. Now too long. Off the over the top, but unable to move. get over the top this time. Virvas to Aitchison. Down the touchline. Doige goes this way and that as Aitchison's kick very nearly dribbles out. That will stay in play. Virvas inside to McKenna. Bit of broken field inside the England fullback. Wrestle down by McKinley Hunt. Now Saracens are set, and who is it? Packer, oh, what hands from the England number eight. Great tackle from McGilbury, though. Cleal now lined up, big hit on her this time. Canadian Gabby Semp coming through. Yeah, kick out there from Semp as well in frustration. Have a check of that with the assistant referee. Saracens continuing to play. Penalty advantage, so H's and fancies a little dink. No advantage, all clear. I'd love to see Ageson just put a little grubber through as well. Each of eight, seventh score in the final. McIntosh. Get more, one over. Here comes this fondling ball of Saracen's energy. Still going forward. Guess who's at the heart of it? Marley Packer again. Now it's resetting. Again, apologies for language. Casey. Quick ball for Aitchison now, the acting scrum half. McKenna looking to try and step away. Vivas, options inside and out. Packer on a hat trick, of course. One move. Campbell helping it on, really knock on. In the Ella Birvast and Holly Aitchison link, I think they're working so well together. If one carries, if Birvast carries to the line, Aitchison's just there straight away. They read each other so incredibly well. See a bit of a combo too. What a, what a trio to be. But the heartbeat of this team, the co-captain, two tries on the board. Allianz Premier 15th player of the match, Marley Packer. To try and create something from deep, and sometimes in any sport, it's the, the try scorers, the goal scorers, those with the big scores that win these individual awards. But it's not just been about her tries today, Marley Packer, it's been a brilliant individual performance. Harrison's with the turnover, the coaching staff to our left celebrating that like it's the first minute. They clearly move. Georgia Evans back on the rugby field, back carrying into traffic as Kate Zachary comes through on all sorts of offside there, the Chiefs co-captain. Situation from Kate Zachary there and just swam around towards your own team. You just got ways in that main stand on the far side and they've been treated to a masterclass from Saracens. Aitchison flat to Kelter. The pat was flat, the pat was fizzed, it was one for Kelter to run on to just couldn't quite grasp it in her fingertips. Okay, sorry, balance, please, before the ball. Balance. Head coach to enjoy. He has prepped his team so, so well. They have performed on the biggest stage. They've performed under pressure. And they will be crowned in the next few minutes. The Alliance Premier 15's champions. Kobe Ashi. Chiefs looking to finish 
with a flourish. Foster around the back. Still the big carries coming in from Exeter. Some tired bodies out there, but Hope Rogers, the prop, is still going. And he's like a back row forward, the loose head. Then the hit coming in from Donna Rose. Saracen's not done in defence either. McGilvery to the line. And is forward. We'll go back for the penalty, though. Line. Their moment is coming. Oh, it's incredible stats. They thoroughly deserve it. You can see the heart, the passion. They're still going now. Heart and passion. That sums it up completely. Every single ball that's on the floor, they dive on it quicker. Every decision they make, they're doing as a team, and they've done outstanding today and this season. That's one, six, Finished top of the pile, Saracen, 16 wins from 18, dismissed the champions, Harlequins, in the playoff semi-finals. And they're heading to another title. Exeter, though, want to finish with a score of their own. Great run from Jeffries. McGill breaks, stolen by McKenna. Brilliant read from the Saracens' fullback. Time is dead. Final play of the game. Sarah McKenna summing up everything brilliant about Saracens. Spun back. It's going to be hacked away by Holly Aitchison. Bit scrappy at the end, but Saracens won't care. They are the 2022 Allianz Premier 15s champions. A third title in four years for the North London side. Finished top of the pile. Dismissed Quinns in the semis, and it's been a brilliantly brutal performance in this final at six ways. Saracens, again, the best team in the